Yo, what's up, everybody? What's going on? You know it's your boy, Big Country, right here, man. Check this out, man. Yo, I need you to hit this channel. Hit that hit that big red button you're going to see. Subscribe to this channel right here. Yo, what I'm going to do here today is... Y'all remember at one time I used to do these things like every Friday or every Saturday. I used to do wrestling rants of the week. When I was a rant about wrestling and I kind of stop it you know because I kind of kind of stopped looking at wrestling a little bit and I really don't much look at it unless I look at some highlights of it on YouTube or something like that there um I'm gonna go I'm gonna do this rant here today okay and I want to start with this one company Impact Wrestling. So some of y'all Impact Wrestling fans, I know I'm going to, I know you're going to put up your panties and they are going to offend some of y'all. You know, I don't really give a shit, okay? Now, let me tell you something. I'll be 52 years old in two weeks. And two or three, two, March the 31st. And I raise up watching wrestling. The Ricky Steamboat, the Rick Flairs, the Roll Warriors, um, the Four Horsemen, you know, you know, uh, Buzz Tyler, um, you know, the Fabulous Freebirds, the, you know, World Class, you know, Midland Championship Wrestling, Georgia Championship Wrestling, you know, Mid South. I raise up on wrestling like that. And yeah, we know it's changed. But, you know, you want to know why wrestling is down. People don't look at it. Now, one one reason is because Dave Vince McMahon basically did told the told you know the told the world it's fake. It's predetermined. But the simple fact is, even though he done that in the height of the era two era, that People watch it more than it ever did because, you know, people want to believe. They want to go enjoy something. They want, uh, uh, you know, not just entertainment, but they they want to go for their favorite favorite people. They want to be something to believe in. And in the attitude era, when you had WCW and ECW and WWF at the time, you know, people just love it. You know, you getting ratings of. Six point something, seven point eight point something ratings. Now you're getting ratings of 0 0.58, 1 0.02. You know, you're getting ratings like that because people don't watch it. And, and tell you the truth, wrestling went down ever since WCW got bought out because you ain't had the competition no more. And a lot of the WCW fans who were so alienated when WWE basically buried WCW wrestlers that the WCW fans left <coughs> and basically never came back. They they came back and look when you had Goldberg came back or somebody came back and the latest thing you know they kind of look when Stain come back the ones that still living. Because you know a lot of WCW fans, they're probably dead and gone. But you do have a lot that's still living that's around my age, in the 50, 40s, 50s, probably 60s. And when Sting came to the WWF, you know, they kind of look and say, oh, Sting in the WWF. And then after they kind of buried Sting, you know, they, they, went away, they went away again. I don't know where they at, the MMA or whatever it is. But you were hoping some other company would have come along and make some noise. And at one time, Impact Wrestling did was that company when Jeff Jarrett and Dixie, you know, had it going big to Dixie stopped messing everything up and he lost Spike TV. And that company have not recovered yet. What is on Access TV? What they get like shit. Do they get a hundred thousand views on a show? I don't know. They get, if they get a hundred thousand, 
Now, this company put their world title last year on a woman. Now, I want to talk about no woman rights or whatever it is, because we know, everybody know, they look at my video, I support women, wherever their rights is. But they put a world title on a woman. And you got 15 minutes of fame after that. Matter of fact, Tesha Bashel. You know, <coughs> excuse me. You put the world title on a woman. This woman had defeated Brian Cage, <clears throat> who is built like the Incredible Hawk. How is that believable? How you gonna see? You got a niche, and impact is right here at that niche, but they're not breaking above that ceiling because they're not getting new views. So how do you put a get new views or get people interested in your product and you put the title on a woman. Now, let's go right here again. Now, I, I'm going to tell you how I was even looking at this thing here. But, you put your world title on Eric Swan. That's his name, Eric Swan? Whatever his damn name is. A guy that everywhere he went, he was a lower mid-carder as best. Everywhere he went, what company he went with, he was a lower mid-carder at best. And you put your world title on him. This man defeated Moose, who was what? Six five, two hundred and seventy some pounds, whatever, on a little dwarf that defeat him. And he pulled the hair out. They combined the TNA title to the Impact Championship. <clears throat> and he defeated him. How real is that? How will you get anybody else to watch your product and you put it, you got a title on him? You imagine when I turn the TV and I and, and this is how a lot of casual fans do. They turn the TV and they look at it and they saw moose. This big dude lost to this little dwarf. And guess what they did? Click. They turned their TV. So you wonder why this company would not break through the roof to, to be meaningful. Like, who, who talks about Impact Wrestling? It was for AEW or letting them come on a show. Nobody still would be seeing Impact Wrestling. Only real thing, I, you know, I don't know who on the roster, but Moose is, but Card Anderson, the Good Brothers, they real. I don't know who all on Impact Wrestling. But you put, you got your title on this little dwarf. Who, everywhere he was, he was a lower mid-carder. How credible is that? You let EC3 came back for a little stint that you could have put the title on EC3. But you let EC3 left. And EC3 is in Ring of Honor. But you put it on this dwarf. And you see here, now, how are you going to get out of this? How are you going to get out of this? Title versus title. Rich Swan, that's his name. Rich Swan versus Kenny Omega. They're not gonna have Kenny Omega lose. So it gotta be uh, some 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 bullshit gonna happen, you know, a count out or, or, or so whatever. Because what you gonna do? What Impact gonna do? Let Kenny Omega beat 
Rich Swan and win the belt. <clears throat> so that's going to put eyes on Impact. And I don't think so. You know, but I'm not finished with Impact, okay? I'm not finished with Impact. Let's talk about AEW. AEW average what? Six, seven hundred views per week on their show. I mean, they probably they probably hit eight hundred and something. I think the night with it with had Shaq <clears throat> was on there, they reached nine hundred and something. But soon when Shaq match was over, they dropped down. People didn't want to watch no more of it. Now, I was hoping when this company was formed, it would be another ter- alternative from WWE. Because we know WWE the shits. Another wrestling company that got a big money man behind it and on TNT. Wow, okay. Boom. They say they're going to make this like a sports-like show of wrestling. But you know what? You WWE like. You WWE like. Stupid gimmicks. Stupid matches. Somebody say a long time ago, you never let the inmate run the prison. So you never have a bunch of wrestlers run a company. Tony Khan is a mark. He don't know nothing about the wrestler business. So he listened to Kenny Omega. He listened to the Young Bucks. Who is not over. They not over. No matter how big they was in Ring of Honor or they was in Japan, you're not over here. The Young Bucks names do not carry shit over here uh, unless into their little base. Because they're right now, they had that they had that knot right here. This what this what they had. They're not breaking through the ceiling. You bring Shaq in, boom. Shoot and Shaq gone, boom. They drop right back down. You're not getting new viewers. <clears throat> You're not getting new people looking at your product. So you're right here. You're getting six or seven hundred some views a night. A week on your show. You're not breaking the season. You're not adding on. You got the young bucks too, little your punk little kids. They try to act like they tough, they road warriors. They're not if for me, go look at the channel and see how the young bucks try to be like they the road warriors. I look at that and say, what the fuck is that? Man, I turn the TV. Then I sit there and look at Kenny Omega, who Dave Meltzer suck his thing so much, probably the best wrestler in the world, and he doing facial features. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? Kenny Omega ain't nowhere near better than AJ Styles. And he damn sure nowhere near around the Orton level. Kenny Omega would be a mid-carder at best in the WWE. He's not over. Only thing he's over is from the a- AEW <coughs> indie Bush Lee fans who's a father them in the indies. You have a major network, and it's like I'm look, look, I mean, when I do glimpse at the show, I'm looking like I think I'm looking at the indie show. You know, you're not getting no better. It's not getting no better. Young Bucks is not over. They are not getting over. Only 
worthwhile thing to look at on AEW is Cody Rhodes. But Cody Rhodes will slip out and act stupid sometime himself. So you wonder why you're not getting bigger. Sooner or later, TNT going to be like, okay, why y'all not growing yet? Why we ain't getting more views? And then TNT TNT gonna sit there and probably start to do something to make them change. Oh, they gotta get it better. But they get mad when Jim Cornette or some of the older wrestlers talk bad about them. You know what? It seemed to me that y'all that these young these these wrestlers a day were shut up. And listen and learn. Cause you ain't drawing no damn money. And you ain't putting people butts in front of a chair, in front of a TV, in a chair in front of a TV watching you. So maybe you shut up and listen to people like Jim Cornette and Mick Foley and Undertaker when they give y'all some criticism and learn from it. And if y'all did last this long on this video, oh, I'm not gonna forget about WWE. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm not gonna forget about them. Sports entertainment. Because bad television. Three hours of Raw, two hours of SmackDown, two hours of NXT, an hour of 304 Live, an hour of NXT UK. NXT UK is good. No, I got to admit, NXT UK is pretty good. But everything else, NF, NXT used to be real good. Now they, they pretty much sucks now. It showed that Vince McMahon put his hand in it. But <clears throat> WWE is the shits. They get all of them billions of dollars for what? The, you, you probably got two or three, probably four. Four at the most story modes. That's even worth something. You know, uh, don't get me wrong. Bianca Belair, she gonna be a good superstar, but this build up it sucks. This build, this build up, this story made me not want. You know, it don't care about this match. It, it don't care about this match. You know, the Roman Reigns shit. I love it. I do. Finally, they made him heal. He's a heel. He got that like the mob type thing. It's it's cool. You know, I'm sitting there. Bobby Lashley, about damn time that they feature this guy like a beast. Like they feature him, Bobby Lashley, like TNA did, like a destroyer, walking Armageddon. And the, I mean, this man is a freak to be 45 years old and fucking built like that. He's a fucking monster. The Hurt Business is the only probably good thing, frax, fraction or group that seem legitimate in wrestling. Don't get me wrong, man. Nia Jax, bro. They didn't send her back to NXT. She is horrible. She is horrible in the ring, bro. And the way they did Basil, it's like, fuck them, you, y'all, y'all just fuck up. Send her back to NXT and let her be a monster when she was in like, NXT. You know, it's like, but you got to go out there and get old dudes like Edge, like, like, like Goldberg. To get a buzz. Goldberg do not make people want to watch a 54-year-old man. He's not Goldberg. Look at that. No muscle. No defining muscle in him no more. He's not something that people are going to fear. But you take Keith Lee. Let me see. What is this? Keith Lee. 
You do nothing with Keith Lee. You bring him up, you do nothing with which I know is going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Because, see, Keith, Keith Lee started gaining that weight back. He wasn't working out like he used to. He gained the weight back. And the first thing when I saw it, I said, Vince man is not going to like that. They not going to like it. He done gained that weight back. And we know Vince Man in the is a body guy. But when Keith, Keith Lee was done NXT, he was solid. When I see him start gaining that weight, I said, he's not going to make it to the main roster. And I think I did a video on it. And you got this joke of a dude here. He got charisma, but <laughs> what the hell? Let's see what the hell. I mean, I'm trying to flip through stuff to... You won't do nothing with Cazaro, who probably one of the be- who probably the best wrestler in the company next to Diane Bryan and AJ Styles. You know, it's this place is the shits too. So you wonder why people ain't watching when something don't look real. You know, so that's all I want to say about. I don't care. Now I'm gonna tell you one thing. I do like Apollo Crews with this story going to. I'm very interested with this story because I always say Apollo Crews need to stop coming smiling so much. Come like he was in the Indies when he was hoo-ha nation. You know, so they kind of make him like that. So that's a good thing. You know, but like I say, man, this one to make a rant on it. Um... Y'all want me to do some more rants of the week to let me know. I look at some highlights, even though it kills me, give me a headache to look at this sorry wrestling of the day or sports entertainment of the day. You want to call it, whatever you want to call it. And I do some more rants. So right now I can get myself ready for work. Have a good night. Peace.